All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another video of Green Square Talks BattleBots. Uh, Porinog and I are here for another prediction podcast, the fourth of the five BattleBots champions brackets leading up to the bracket for the Golden Bolt. So, how's it going, Pori? Are you? Doing... Oh, what's up, Pori? I said I'm doing good. How are you doing? Uh, doing really well. Huh. So. Yeah. Yeah, we got another bracket here. Eight more great robots looking to lead up to take on Scorpios, another big name in BattleBots. And the winner of Scorpios and whoever makes it there will get a spot in the Golden Bolt bracket featuring Tantrum, Scorp... Not Tantrum, Endgame, and Tombstone could feature Scorpios if Scorpios wins that last fight. But yeah, so we got lots more robots in here. This is another... Pori bracket since one of his favorites is in that one so I imagine there's gonna be a lot of fun stuff going in this bracket so let's go ahead and get to the get to first battle then we'll just go through each of these one by one and as usual reply down below with your predictions like Pori and I would definitely love to hear what you got there and because our opinions are different and I can, I can assure you there are differences in our brackets. There's some pretty big differences this time, actually. So, and it, this will be fun regardless. So, yeah, reply down below with what you got for this one. And let's see, let's see what you guys think. So, okay, first fight. So, Big Dill and Bloodsport. So, Big Dill is one of the three robots that's bounty hunters only. We, we know Double Jeopardy is in... Double Jeopardy's taking on Ribot in a previous one. We'll see Perfect Phoenix and an, an, in an upcoming bracket as well. So, and hopefully, and hopefully some exhibition fights too, because it, it it would be lame to me to only see ro robots like Double Jeopardy, Big Dill, and Perfect Phoenix just once. So, so anyway, it's Big Dill gets a like Double Jeopardy, Big Dill gets a rough draw, in my opinion, like, in Bloodsport. Like, that's a that's a hard opponent to take on, in my eyes. And, like, I while I do think Big Dill has the armor and stuff to take the hits from Bloodsport, Big Dill, while it looks like they're able to take the hits, internally-wise, it doesn't seem like they're... They, it seems like they've had problems with taking those hits, like, because, like, yeah, like, we'd see their drive die, like, against Gigabyte, stuff like that, and that's, that's kind of what, that's kind of what I'm thinking for how I see this one going down, but, like, Big Deal strategy is definitely going to be box rush Bloodsport, like, what other robots have tried to do here, and I think if Bloodsport gets the big hits, which Justin is a terrific driver, I think Bloodsport's probably going to win this one pretty easily. So I have Bloodsport going to the next round, probably by a knockout. But I'd love to see Emmanuel pull it off, though, because yeah, because yeah, God, I gotta give him, I give Emmanuel so much credit for what he's done this season, because like brought Big Dill to battle lots, but then it seemed like he, yeah, but then was helping Jaeger out during the during the. Yeah, during the qualifiers for the top 32, driving one of those those many, driving one of those robots in there for that team, and it was great having a seeing a manual help out help out Jaeger like that after only one of their team members was able to travel down there due to travel restrictions. So, what do you got, Pori, for this one? I like Big Dill, but god damn, they they couldn't have given it a tougher draw, huh? Um, I think, unless Bloodsport has some serious technical issues, I think they, they win this fight without question, with ease. Um, please, uh, Big Dill, if you win this, I'll be really happy, but I don't think they will. I think this is all Bloodsport. Probably a moderately easy knockout. Yeah, I'm pretty much exactly where Pori's at right there, because, like, I love Big Dill, and I'd love to see them them get a big victory against Bloodsport, but I think they're, I think it's going to be a difficult task, which is, yeah, why I have Bloodsport, so. Next up, Blade and Kraken, and I'm going Blade for this one, actually, and 
because Blade, I think, while they definitely had struggles when it when it came to the Scorpios and the Lucky fight, in the Dragon Slayer fight, they showed some major potential. Like, they got that drive working, they got the weapon working pretty well. If they could keep up and work as well as they did in the fight with Dragon Slayer, I th like... Definitely, they did a lot of that turn and spinning stuff. I think we could see them possibly decapitating the mouth of Kraken, once again, similar to what Rotator and Hijinks both did, and maybe even getting a wheel or something like that. And I'm not sure how well Kraken's going to be able to take the big hits. And then the other question is, even though we... Yeah, because like, we did see a clip of this fight. I don't remember if they had the if they had the, the frame and the configurations made for horizontals in this one. I do not re recall Pori might. Well, they, it, got just, it got destroyed by Rotator, uh, so they weren't able to run it at all for the rest of the event. Gotcha. I think I'm, I think I'm going to pick Blade for this one. I think Blade's going to destroy Kraken and win this one by a knockout, but I love Kraken. I'd love to see Kraken pull this off. I think... I think if either any of the issues that Blade's been having arise, or if Kraken can drive this fight perfectly, I think Kraken's got the potential to take it, but I think I'm going Blade for this one. What do you got, Pori? Been dirty this season. No, I've been with three horizontal spinners and one really promising for Damn. Uh, yeah, I don't know how Kraken's going to beat Blade unless Blade, like, unless it's, like, bar like breaks or something again which i don't think it will yeah I, unless blade has some serious technical issues i don't see how kraken can beat it unfortunately and that's sad to see kraken go own for hopefully hopefully the loser this won't be in some exhibition fights but um yeah i'm gonna probably say blade maybe by like a judge's decision or something yeah, definitely. We've already heard from social media that Kraken's got a redesign coming. Uh, it would be nice to see Kraken go out with a bang, since it sounds since because of that whole redesign thing. Before we see the Crusher version of Kraken end up getting retired, like I hope we get to yeah, because like it'd be sad to see Kraken go winless, like what Pori said. Ed, but yeah, I want to see Kraken go out with a bang for sure. So. Okay, the next one. Deadlift and Blacksmith. So, uh, Pori, you could go first on this one. Oh, never mind. I'll go first since I know what Pori's doing. So, okay. So, my plan is I'm going to go Blacksmith with this one. So, what, I, what I'm very concerned, Deadlift did show some promise in the jackpot fight. But, on the other hand, they did definitely show they have issues to work out as for the ice wave fight even if what pori said about what the issue what what he heard the issue was is accurate uh i think it's gonna be a very difficult fight the other thing i kind of got is uh blacksmith definitely has a bit more advantages in terms of this fight with that overhead spinner because like sure the overhead spinner hasn't exactly done as much damage as what some of us have hyped up but it definitely is capable of it, because, like, so like in the free shipping fight, it might not have looked like Blacksmith's Power Hammer did that much damage, but when you take when you check out some of the pictures after the fight ended, there was quite a bit of damage there. And so, if Blacksmith can get plenty of hits on Deadlift and start causing as many, start causing some damage, Deadlift could be in trouble for this one, and we could definitely see deadlift knockout and all right pori what do you got i know you got plans with that deadlift arm yeah so deadlift is gonna take blacksmith the suplex city um they're not gonna stand a chance um, by the way i don't I'm... think i don't i they're not going with the clamping arm for this one if i remember correctly from the image i've seen they'll still take them to suplex city um, they'll flip them over and they're gonna win the fight. Like it's just how it goes. They're gonna burn Blacksmith. They're gonna flip him. They're gonna control him. They're gonna Uda him. They're gonna take him out, and it's gonna be great. I can't wait. Yeah, cause like I want Deadlift to see succeed. It show it definitely showed promise after. It definitely showed some promise after that jackpot fight, <laughs> but like 
I need to see, I need to see it working at a hundred percent before I can before I can start like really seriously believing in it. And this fight, I think it's a real good opportunity for them to prove me wrong because like I'd love to see Deadlift make a run here, but <laughs> if Deadlift performs like how it did in the Ice Wave fight and even the end of the Jackpot fight, uh, like I don't think Deadlift's gonna last i don't think deadlift's gonna last long in this one and, and the damage advantages that spinners get could really go in blacksmith's favor for this one but definitely prove me wrong pori has permission to laugh at me in the break in the in the breakdown breakdown podcast if deadlift does go on a run in this one but regardless though I think I'm going to predict Blacksmith and Jackpot would win a round three with Deadlift. Shot. Zero shot. <laughs> yeah, Battlebots, if you're watching this, we want a Jackpot Deadlift round three. So. But the other thing is. That's like, a great robot. Deadlift. Deadlift's just amazing. Yeah. But I think this is a really important fight for deadlift regardless because i think this could be a make or break for whether they get in next season if they're applying because i want deadlift to succeed but they haven't shown much promise at least in the main competition like they definitely showed promise in the bounties last season and like regardless though, i do think weird. deadlift is a neat robot regardless but uh what are you about to say pori they beat Balespear in the main competition last year. Yeah. Yeah, that's a win. That's fair. but uh, 50% win ratio? That's not bad. But it's Balespear they beat. Yeah, Balespear who beat Chomp, who beat Bite Force. <laughs> Deadlift basically beat Bite Force. Yeah, sure. Dead. <laughs> yeah, alright, so... Anyway, though... Oh, I got Blacksmith winning this fight, Pori's got Deadlift winning this fight, and I'm sure somebody's going to be making fun of the other. Probably wh probably whoever wins between this one, one of us is going to be making fun of the other, and then Civilian Arc's probably going to be making fun of whoever. Whoever was, the, whoever was on the losing end of this one, so. Because it's what he does, so. Anyway, so let's go on to the next one. I think that should be a good fight, though, because I have seen one picture from that fight, and it looks like this fight definitely shows some promise. So, okay, Lucky and Switchback. So, like, I, I like Switchback. It's a really neat design, and I hope it gets a second shot next season, because I think the design definitely does show some promise with what they were able to pull off, but... I think I'm going to predict Lucky for this one, because the big question right now is going to be, did Switchback fix their self-writing issue? While it, while I believe they said it was a gearbox failure that prevented them from self-writing the Gruff fight, we haven't seen them get flipped even once ever since that fight, so how do we know it's working? But regardless of whether it is working or not, I think Lucky's got the bigger shot at controlling this fight, and... I think Lucky's going to win it off that, but I would love to see Switchback pull this one off, because I think Switchback definitely has the potential with that spinner, and like like many other robots that we've been talking about here, Switchback is a neat robot, so, but, what do you got, Pori, for this one? It's a really cool design, and it did show some promise. I mean, it took out a slam it beat Huge, yeah, it beat Huge, Huge wasn't driving straight, uh, and... You know, but that said, I think I feel like Switchback is a rare example of a vertical spinner that probably is at a disadvantage when it comes to control bots, just because of the, how much it gyros and the articulating arm. Like, it's a very easy robot to like flip over and control. So, on that merit alone, I'm probably gonna have to go with Lucky. But I, I do hope that Switchback gets a season two because the design has a lot of potential for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because Switchback definitely showed like, definitely there were some errors from this season because, like, it seemed like they were struggling with traction in a few fights and 
yeah, the arm had a few failures, but the design showed lots of potential. But Okay, let's go ahead and go to round two, then. Okay, round two. So, one difference here, Hori's shaking his head at me. I wonder what that's for. So, <laughs> yeah, now you know why, now you probably know why Hori's going to be making fun of me if Deadlift does beat Blacksmith, so... Okay, Bloodsport and and Blade. So, I actually got I actually got faith in Blade right now, cause on cause like how I kind of see this fight going down, I could see Blade driving this fight two different ways. I could maybe see them going at the backside to try to slow down the spinner of Bloodsport, maybe try to upend them, flip them over or something like that, knock them unstable. You know, I think that's gonna be a difficult task, cause Bloodsport really improved the stability of their robot coming into, like, not just this season, but the previous season. Or I could see them going weapon on weapon with Bloodsport with the horizontal spinner. And in my, in my eyes, like, I would want to see this, like, in action for real before I kind of... Because, like, I'm making this prediction but here, but I feel if these two went weapon on weapon... Somebody's spinner is going to break, like what we saw in Valkyrie and Rotator, and I feel I would give the edge to Blade, honestly, in that one. Because, like, while they did have a Blade break in the Lucky fight, like, supposedly they had a bunch of different horizontal spinners with different materials and stuff like that, and they used, some, and they used a not-so-durable type of aluminum for that fight with Lucky, which is why I believe the Blade broke, but... If they use some, if they use something that's a bit bit tanky, like what they've been using so far in their all their other fights, I believe uh, that could be blood sport on the losing end in my eyes, because like Blade definitely has the bigger spinner here, which is why I'm kind of gonna lean towards Blade with this one, because if they can snap that spinner and blood sport, blood sport's in some serious trouble due to their stability problems, but. Regardless, though, I think this would be a really good fight if these two fought it out in the battle box. So, what do you got, Pori, for this one? Should, in theory, be a fun fight if it happens. Um, that said, I'm still not convinced in Blade's reliability. I mean, Bloodsport's not exactly the most reliable robot either, but Blade, I feel, has more to prove. I would... I want Blade to win this, but I think I'm going to go for Bloodsport with this. But, I mean, I'm, I'm, I want I want to see this fight for sure, and I hope we do, because it'll be a pretty fun slugfest for sure. Okay. Yeah, solid enough. So now we'll go to the other fight where we both have Blacksmith and Lucky fighting it out there. Right, Pori? Damn, didn't reply back. And, uh, well, anyway, I have Blacksmith and Lucky clashing it out here, and like this, I think would be actually a really good. I think this would be an excellent fight between mid tiers. Like, I think Blacksmith and Lucky would be a really entertaining showdown between two like B tier robots. I'd say. I'd say these two are both in the B tier area, in my no, eyes. Yeah. But... Like, this will be a really excellent driving showdown, and both of these robots have excellent drivers behind the wheel, and I think this will be an absolute back-and-forth showdown. Like, yeah, because I, I know we've heard there are some of the best fights of this season coming in bounty brackets. I think this one has potential to be one of those fights. I suspect we're going to see a bunch of back-and-forth action, and then we're going to see a judge's decision. I'm probably going to give the edge to... I'm giving the edge to Blacksmith in this one, because I think Blacksmith, with that power hammer, or, like, the ability for them to do damage in this fight is what I think is going to give them the edge. But regardless, though, I think we got to... I think if these two do, do fight it out, which I know one person here disagrees that this fight will happen, but... If these two do fight it out, this would be an this would be a really good fight in my mind. If if it goes exactly the way I'm I see it would, and I knocked on wood a few times just to avoid jinxing that. So, what you got, Pori? Deadlift's gonna take Lucky to Suplex City. Gonna Suplex Lucky all over the arena. 
going to push him around. He's going to flip him. Lucky's not even going to stand a chance. I love Lucky, but they're in over their head with this one. I think deadlift, piece of cake, easy takes out Lucky, no problem. Who does them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Deadlift all the way. Deadlift making that final. I feel I feel Lucky would be a really good opponent for Deadlift to use the clamping arm to that one. Yeah. Because like. Be a good one for that. I've mentioned this a few times, but I disagreed with them using the clamping arm for the Ice Wave fight. I don't think that was exactly the right move because it gave Ice Wave a better shot of getting bite on that clamping on deadlift and for that one. But I feel for a control bot like Lucky, I think that's a real. I think that would be really. I think that'd be a good fight to see the clamping arm in action. If Deadlift gets to that point, because I gotta get past Blacksmith first, so. Okay, then, so let's go ahead and get to the final for both of these, these brackets. <laughs> what What's wrong with my bracket, Pori? You're muted. The most goaded bot in the bracket, a single dub. What? You didn't give the most goaded bot in the bracket a single dub. Well, I mean, Blacksmiths are going to be a hard opponent for them to get past, so who says you can but, play but, for that? I mean, Blacksmith. Blacksmith can't do it. I'm sure they could. I mean, we've already got a picture. Or, and, but <laughs> anyway, for my bounty final, which, yeah, we all we have four different robots in the final for this, but I have Blade taking on Blacksmith for this one, and Believe it or not, I, I'm 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 voting Blade once again for this one. Like I do think Blacksmith would probably be one of the hardest of the three opponents. One of, if not the, I'm not sure who would be a harder opponent for Blade between Bloodsport and Blacksmith, just on the fact that Bloodsport has a lot more offense to them, and then Blacksmith has a tank on the other hand. But like Blacksmith, this is another fight Blacksmith is going to need to drive it perfectly for this one because. I feel what Blade's probably going to be doing is pretty much the same thing they use against Dragon Slayer. Sling their, like, drive their robot around in circles to try to catch the sides of their opponent. And then I think if they catch the sides of Blacksmith, they could potentially do more damage than what Malice was able to do to Blacksmith in that one. And I think I'm actually going to predict Blade by a knockout in this one. As long as Blade is working properly and everything. I think Blade definitely has the potential to do this, and I'm predicting a deep run from Blade in this bracket, so. What you got, Pori, for this fight, or Bloodsport and Deadlift? Deadlift gonna clamp onto Bloodsport. They're gonna take them to Suplex City. They're gonna flip them all around. They're gonna push them all around. They're gonna Uda Bloodsport, and... They're gonna Bloodsport won't stand a chance. Um, deadlift all the way. They're making. They're fighting Scorpios next round. Yeah, I don't think that'd be a good fight to use the clamping arm though with Bloodsport, just for the same reason for why I disagreed with them using the clamping arm for Ice Wave. But you never know. But yeah, so let's go ahead and set up and for the final with Scorpios. Okay, and so, yeah, so if you haven't been here for any of the other prediction podcasts, the green X basically means the robot that we think is not going to make it out of the final and to get to Scorpios. Man, I sh maybe I should have moved the green X on Pori's over to the right a little bit there. And, yeah, and and then we could have seen a rematch between Bloodsport and Scorpios, because that'd be a fun rematch. Uh, like I think Scorpios might be able to win it. Yeah, definitely. But anyway, I have Blade versus Scorpios. I have a rematch from this season for this one, and I think I think if these two did rematch, I think it'd be a bit closer because Blade, if Blade is fun as functional as it was later in the season, I think Blade's gonna put up much more of a fight than what we saw them when they fought Scorpios the first time. But I still think Scorpios would take it in this one, like. Like, cause Scorpios, Scorpios is definitely another insanely durable robot, and 
definitely that new blade they've come into this season with is an absolute tank. And without a doubt, I think if they do manage to jam up Blade and to drop down that spinner, I think they they could do some serious damage once again. And I think if these two did rematch in the final, I bet Scorpios will go 2-0 and against Blade. And so, yeah, I have Scorpios winning and going to the Golden Bowl bracket. But I got Blade going on a deep run in this one, which would be a really neat thing to see if it actually happens. But... I wouldn't be surprised if I'm wrong about that. So, what you got, Pori, for for Bloodsport and Scorpios, or whatever you have there on your bracket? Deadlift and Scorpios. Listen, Deadlift is going to take Scorpios to Suplex City. He's going to clamp them, he's going to lift them, he's going to flip them. He's going to control the whole fight, and Scorpios isn't going to stand a chance. Uh, then they're going to get knocked out of the arena. Deadlift is gonna win the win the Scorpio's bounty bracket, then it's gonna go into the Golden Bolt tournament, which it's gonna do a very deep run in, and it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, sure. So But I do think that would be a reasonable fight to use a clamping arm, because if they can time it and position it right, they might be able to clamp it in a position to where Scorpios might not be able to hold them off with the hammer saw and be able to stop that thing, but I would still have Scorpios over Deadlift in that one, but even though I know one person here would disagree with me on that, but just know this, Pori. Zack and Diane are neat. They're Very awesome neat. people. I'll give, I will they definitely awesome. give them credit where credit's due, but it's Deadlift, man. But Scorpios, they're awesome. I don't have a Scorpios part, though. I only have a Deadlift part. I have a bunch of Scorpios poker chips. Anything Scorpios. Actually, Scorpios might be on the shirt I'm wearing right now. Yeah, Scorpios is on the shirt because they were at Season 2. Yeah. Yeah, I have a ton of awesome Scorpio stuff. Uh, Scorpios, if you're watching this, if you do make a Scorpios poker chip from whichever fight that is, I would, I'm sure definitely, I will. I would definitely get that. Add that to my Scorpios poker chip collection. Because now I've decided any coin flip that we have to do on any of my it's YouTube obvious. content, we're gonna we're gonna use one of those Scorpios fight poker chips. So okay, I'm so... where I'm on the shirt. No, oh, found Sawblaze. Oh wait, there's Scorpios. I found Scorpios. We're good. good. Thought you said there was no ribot on there. But... There is no ribot on this shirt, but that's because it's season why. two of ribot. I wonder why. Yeah, Rivot should be on. I mean, Clockwork Lorange is on this shirt, so I can't Rivot. I mean, that robot's better than Rivot. Clockwork Lorange, the <laughs> robot that was even complete when it was filming, apparently. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, they had something there. Rivot wasn't built at all that season, so. Yeah, but it was built by like, the guy who built Abattoir, so like. That wasn't <laughs> working is better than nothing. Though, so. Yeah, but even if it was built, it wouldn't have worked because it was by Team Wetware. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have Scorpios winning this bracket and going to the Golden Bolt tourney, and Pori has Deadlift going to the fo going to the Golden Bolt bracket here. So yeah, lots of some disagreements in this one because. Because Pori, the 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 robot Pori has winning this one. I have going out in the first round here. One of, and then we have, we have four different robots in the finals for this one. And yeah, one moment here while Pori, if you want to rant for thirty seconds, go ahead. I have a part I need to grab. Hello, everybody. Uh, this lifting arm belongs to the robot. Well, in, in two thousand. 20, this ro this lifting arm belonged to the robot that is going to win the Scorpios bounty bracket deadlift. It's a very nice arm. This arm was used to beat Jackpot in the uh, and almost beat Gruff in the uh, what was that a Tombstone bounty bracket? Yeah. And uh, if they had beaten Gruff, they would have won the whole thing there. But you know, bad luck happens. You know, rookie team. It is what it is. Here we go. Oh, yeah. See. See. There you yeah. go, bounty bounty champion deadlift. You already know. Except that except that this is from this season when they got wrecked by 
the dynamic duo of Jackpot and Needle. And Jackpot would definitely win a round three. Basically, no shot. these no hits shot. right in here definitely showcase all the all the damage that Jackpot was able to do to Deadlift in that fight. And shows Jackpot why would Jackpot would win that fight again. And why Needle like... would win in a one-on-one -on -one fight with Deadlift. <laughs> no <laughs> shot. No <laughs> shot. And Listen, so, Deadlift so would do to Jackpot why... what... Uh, what... what uh... Fucking uh, blip did just flip it on its face. It's done. No, they wouldn't. They improved that for next season. It's like they upgraded the torque in their spinners, so that way they can for sure self right if they get put on their face like that. But it's not like that would happen anyway, because Needle would win the fight for Jackpot if those two rematched once again. <laughs> Yo. Well, I mean. He couldn't win the ground game against him, so. I don't hear it. And you never know, one of those little electronics might come loose and deadlift, like what happened in the ice wave fight from your theory too. And we could see and we could see Jackpot win it win it by a quick KO, since Jackpot is a better spinner between those two robots, so. I mean they learned from that. They had character development. Just like how Jackpot learned from getting flipped on their face. Yeah, but it deadlifts neat, so if <laughs> Jackpot's neat. We got we brought back Needle from a neat robot and Tracer, so Tracer's not that neat. It's Tracer like... is very neat. What are you talking Tracer's about? like Tracer's like fat bite force. <laughs> it's neat it's it's neat bite force. It's neat for the bite force isn't neat. Bite force is neat. It's just Tracer is more neat. I don't know. At least Bite Force can win a fight. Uh, Tracer? Tracer, did they win a fight? No, they beat Balespear. Yeah, they beat Balespear. They you know who else beat Balespear? Who beat Chomp, who beat Bite Force. So... Yeah, and you know who else beat Balespear, who beat Chomp, who beat Bite Force? Devlift. Mad Catter. Yeah. Yeah, Mad Catter beat them. <laughs> but regardless, though, Jackpot would win a round three with Deadlift. Blacksmith would win against Deadlift. Uh, let's see. Lucky would probably win against Deadlift. Bloodsport would win against Deadlift. Scorpions no shot. Would win against Deadlift. No shot. Minotaur Deadlift would beat win anyone. Against Deadlift. Black Dragon would win against Deadlift. Jackpot especially would win against Deadlift. Maz Malice would beat Deadlift. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> you know. But... Anyway, anything else on this bracket, Pori? No. Okay, so anyway, thanks for watching this podcast. Uh, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Reply down below with what your predictions are for this bracket. Once again, we'd love to hear that stuff. Yeah, thanks for Pori. Thanks to Pori for coming to this. His link tree with all his fun content Thank will be linked down below in the description of this video. And be sure to tune in to this bracket because this look because i think this one will show a lot i think we'll see a lot of great fights out of this bracket once again just like all the others that we've predicted so far there's one bracket left to go following this one coming next week and bet there there's gonna be more entertaining fights coming so thanks for watching this video and i'll hopefully see you next time